Hi guys, my name is Kenny Long and this is my React Native app for my hypothetical Florida-based fast food restaurant called Kenny's. So I'm going to give a rundown of how each component works in this app, starting with the home page, which is the screen that we're at right now, followed by the menu, which is really the main page of this app. You place your order from the menu. The about page just shows a little more information about the restaurant. And then the careers page is basically a form which allows you to input some of your information if you want to submit an application. So the first issue that I ran into when making this app was to figure out how to display this information in a way that was visually appealing. And for me, that meant understanding how to use Flexbox. I only knew Flexbox on sort of a surface level of understanding before this project. This project really forced me to learn how to actually use Flexbox so I could implement it in my own project. So for example, if you look at this combination of the picture with the rating and a comment, it is a flex item inside of a flex box. And these three comments are all flex items and it makes up one flex box. And the footer pretty much works the same way. These icons are all flex items inside of a flex box. Now, if you click on any of these icons, they don't take you anywhere. It's just there for a visual effect. Now to move on to the menu, Flexbox is really important because Flexbox is how each item is getting displayed on the page. So for the menu, it has a series of cards, one for all of the burgers in the menu, one for all of the sides, and one for all the beverages. So the best way to show how this menu works is if I actually start ordering some food. So if I say I want three hamburgers and multiplies that quantity times the price of each item and it spits out that number in this text component. Also, I have a variable here that's keeping track of the price of all of the burgers that I ordered. So if I want more cheeseburgers, that total just went up. I want five bacon cheeseburgers, that number just went up. So this number is the price of all of the burgers that I ordered. And I'm basically running that same idea for the sides and the beverages also. So just for the sides, I'm gonna order some more sides. I just ordered 1043 worth of sides. And for the beverages, I'm gonna move for some Mountain Dews. So I'm just gonna grab five of those followed by say three chocolate shakes. I ordered 1092 worth of beverages and I have a grand total price, which adds up the price of every single item that you ordered for the total price of your order. And when you are ready to submit this order, you first get a modal and at the top of the modal, it asks to confirm your order of the price of your total order. So right now it's 3484 just to show that this number changes based on my order. I'm gonna cancel out of this, order some more vanilla shakes. This total goes up to 44.79, and the first modal will reflect that change in the total. Now there's no form validation here, so I can just confirm, confirm this order as is. And it gives me this second confirmation modal, which as I toggle it off, it resets every single value in the menu. So to go to the about component, it's pretty simple. It's just a series of cards with some text and an image for each card and for the careers page. This is the form where you input your information if you wanna send an application. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I know I'm close to five minutes, so there's no form validation here. So I'm just gonna type these as fast as I can. One for the email. One asks for the address, one that asks for the phone number. And then the last two parts of this form, they're pickers, one for your education level, and the last one for the position that you wanna get. So the first modal that pops up after you submit this is basically spitting that information back out at you. It gives you a chance to review everything that you just put in the form. And if you like everything that's in here, you can submit it, it gives you a confirmation modal, and when you toggle this off, it resets the modal. I would say besides Flexbox, the number one thing that 
caused me a challenge was figuring out how to output the price of the menu as you're ordering more items. That's what these variables are all for. And I already know I'm over five minutes, but I just want to take a quick second to sort of explain these variables because it's the most important part of the code. So whenever you see this dot state dot hamburgers, this dot state dot cheeseburgers, this dot state dot bacon cheeseburgers, that is the quantity of the item that you ordered. So it changes in response to whatever you pick from the picker. So if I decide I wanted three hamburgers, this dot state dot hamburgers turns into the number three. I'm multiplying by the price of that item and I'm storing that in a variable called burger zero. I'm taking that variable, adding that to the price of all the cheeseburgers that I want, putting that in a variable called burgers one. And I'm applying this logic throughout every single burger in the menu. And eventually I get a variable called burgers price. That's the price of all the burgers. And I'm running this same logic for all of the sides as well as all of the beverages. You add all of the burgers, all of the sides, all of the beverages for this total price variable. That is the variable that shows up on the bottom of the screen. So right now the total price is 297. Right now the total price is 1093. And obviously the modal reflects the change in that variable and that's how much your order costs. So I would say that was the single biggest challenge was to figure out how to get this math and functionality to display on the screen. This file really took on a life of its own because each item in this menu, like I said, is a flex box with a list item inside of it, a picker inside of it, and a text component inside of it. So each item in this file is what, 20 lines of code. This file is 500 lines of code. It was massive for my standards and just keeping up with all of the code was just exhausting for this file. That was a challenge as well. So even though I know it's not the cleanest code on planet earth, it worked for this project. So hopefully the process of making React Native apps will become more and more familiar to me now that I finished my first one.